So, shall we start then? So, can you show me attention? Come down. Right, so let's just uh, do some star jumps. We're going to do star jump on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And sideways again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten last ten sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, guys. Let's do some running on the spot. So we're going to do some heel taps. So hands behind the back. We're going to heel tap for ten seconds. Okay. So ready, guys. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Well done, guys. Excellent. Spider Man jump. So, the idea of Spider Man jumps is can you jump off the screen? So, when you touch your toes, get it hard, nice and high, you try and get off the screen as you do the movements. So, ready, guys? Let's go. Number one, touch, jump. See if you can get really, really high. Number two, touch, jump. Excellent, guys. Well done. Number three, touch, jump. Nice, guys. Well done. Number four, touch, jump. You get your whole body off the screen. Number five, touch, jump. Yeah, let's see everyone jumping nice and nice. Six, touch, jump. Six, good guys. Seven, touch, jump. Nice and big, high with those jumps. Good. Eight, touch, jump. Nice, juniors, well done. Very good. Nine, touch, jump. Last one, Ninja Junior. Sorry, 10 touch jump. Excellent, guys. Mountain climbers, you know how to mountain climbers. So, you get one foot forward, one foot backwards, and we swap our legs each time as we go. So we just do 10. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, guys. Okay, balance knees. So, if you keep your uh, screen on the legs, okay, so drop it down. Hands up by your belly, okay, up and down, but you can't put your foot on the floor. You just have to go up and down, touching your knee to your hands. Okay, so ready, guys. Hands on your belly. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, guys. Let's try the other leg now. So I like to point my toes as I do my knees. So one, two. Three, so don't touch the floor. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, guys. Sideways. So we're going to bend our arm this way. We're going to go up and down without putting that foot on the floor. So bend that arm 90 degrees. So ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Well done, guys. So bending the arm the other way, knee up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, guys, let's roll those shoulders forward. Do some pumps today. And backwards. So everything is kind of doubles this week. Okay. And then elbows up. Let's go side to side with the elbows. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's stretch to our left. So hand on a hip, all the way over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Round and touch your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight, the strip out to the side, it pulls a ninja chair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninja squat up on the hill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninja chair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninja squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Hey, come up and sit down, guys. To stretch out our legs. Right? Again, just keep your legs a bit shaky. So the idea, guys, is to stretch far, as far forward as you can. Try and get your nose to your knees as close as you can. So ready to use? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring your legs together. Shake those legs. Right. Let's see if you can get your nose and your toes. So we're going forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and then we're going to do the legs apart. So heel, how wide can you get your legs? That's the idea. The wider your legs go, the higher your rounded hips are stopped. So let's go all the way forward. So we're reaching with our hands, walking forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch to your left leg. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. To your right leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring our legs in, guys, for your shake. Onto our fronts. I want to do the superhero stretch because it's always good for balance and control. So we'll start with the Superman stretch. His arms out, legs straight into the Batman stretch. Arms side into Iron into back, into the Wonder Woman stretch, up into the hot stretch, is in, then jump up, guys. Well done. So, we're going to start today with some circle kicks. Some circle kicks. So, this is quite important. They call this shadow boxing. So, you're going to put your right foot back behind you, and our hands up in our kickboxing stance. We're going to swing our leg sideways, and we're going to draw a circle with our leg. This is called a circle or a crescent kick, right? The idea is to get your leg as high as you can. Ideally, you want to get it in line with your head as you circle, and then we're back to like our boxing stops. So ready, guys? So hands up, right leg kicks. Number one, circle, and then back to your, your boxing stops. Number two, circle, back to our boxing stops. Yeah, three, circle. Yeah, guys, remember not to drop those hands, keep them nice and high. Number four, circle. Back to our boxing stance. Mm -hmm. Hands nice and high. Number five, circle. Love it. Master Bob is telling you guys that really good. Yeah. Number six, circle. Yes, yeah. we do eight circle kicks. Number seven, circle. Yeah, guys, excellent. Number eight, circle. Nice, everyone. Very, very good. And swap your legs over. Let's do the other side now. Now, when you do your left leg, you're going to go this way and we'll do the same thing, circling all the way across the body. So here we go, Julius. Number one, circle. Nice big kick, that's good. Number two, circle. Excellent. Number three, circle. Yeah. Number four, circle. Sit. Excellent, guys. Number five, circle. Good. Six. Circle. Two more. How high can you get those legs? Seven. Circle. Good. Last one. Eight. Circle. Nice, guys. Well done. And relax. Okay, let's do shadow boxing technique number one. We're going to do two jabs forward like this. Jab, jab, circle. Like this. Okay. So see how I'm moving forward, guys. Jab, jab. So we're moving forward as we do our two jabs, yeah? And then we'll circle kick on the end. So with me, Julian, hands up. Let's go number one. Jab, jab, circle. Yes, guys. And then reset your stance. The other couple of steps back. Good. Number two. Jab, jab, circle. Very nice, guys. Let's move back all the way here. Good. Number three. Jab, jab, circle. Nice guys, and then step back for me. Yeah, number four, jab, jab, circle. Lovely juniors, let's move back a little bit. Very nice boxing, guys. Number five, jab, jab, circle. Yeah, let's move back a little bit, guys. Last one, six, jab, jab, circle. 
Very nice ones. Now, let's go backwards this time. Okay. If I show you, jab, jab, knee strike. Knee strike is knee up this way. If I show you from the back, you step back, step back, knee strike. Okay, so let's go backwards this time. So our hands are up in our boxing stance. Number one, jab, jab, moving backwards, knee strike. Look back up, guys. Well done. Let's move forward a little bit. Give you a bit of space. Number two, jab, jab, knee strike. Nice three years. Well done. We're moving forward again. You guys have got some good form here. Number three, jab, jab, knee strike. Very nice, guys. Moving forward. Very nice. Good footwork going backwards. Number five, jab, jab, knee strike. Lovely. And our hands are nice and high. Our head is down. Looking through our eyebrows. Number six, jab, jab, knee strike. Excellent, guys. Well done. So I'm going to put that number one. And number two drill together now. When we go forwards, we're going to circle. When we go backwards, we're going to knee. I'll show you. So we'll go forwards, forwards, circle kick, backwards, backwards, knee strike. All right, and that's going to be the drill that we do. Yeah. So we're going to go number one forwards, number two backwards, three forwards, four backwards, five forwards, back six, six times. Yep. Yeah? So ready, hands up. Let's go forwards. Number one, jab, jab, circle kick. Nice, guys. Very good. Let's go backwards now. Number two, jab, jab, knee strike. Backward on that knee. Today. Very good. Let me reset our kick up some stuff here. Yeah? Number three, forwards. Jab, jab, circle kick. Excellent, guys. Well done. Reset our base. Going backwards. Number four, jab. Jab, knee strike. Excellent, guys. Well done. Two more sets. Forwards, jab, jab, circle kick. Good, guys. I'm going to reset that stance. Backwards, last one. Jab, jab, knee strike. Excellent, guys. Well done. Okay, so this time, guys, I want you to grab a pillow if you've got one, or a pad holder, or if you've got your kit bag. I brought in Master Bob today. He's going to be my, my pad holder. Okay. We're going to kind of practice the same thing we've just done on the pillows. All right. So, how it works is for the pillow holders, what you want to do is hold the pillow um, this way on each of the corners. And then we're going to go jab, jab, and turn the pillow sideways. Like this. All right. So, just one, two, and turn the pad sideways. If I just show you what we're going to do. Okay. So, on the spot, we're not going to move forward or backwards, we're just going to go jab, jab, turn the first circle, circle kick. And we're going to kick that circle, yeah? So jab, jab, pillow turns, circle kick. It's going to turn it this way. Or if you want to, you can hold it two hands and then one hand. Just let the pillow drop about. That might be better to hold it with one hand. Okay, so ready, guys. Hands are up. So every time I count, Double jab, circle kick. For those who are training with somebody like um, Spitty and Ridgey, after five sets, swap to give the pillow to your partner. That way you don't hang on to them. All right, guys, here we go. So boxing starts ready. So for Ivy on the bag, just on the circle kick, don't hit the side of the bag, just go circle in front of the bag. Right? And that will help. Okay, so here we go, guys. Hands up. Number one, jab, jab, circle kick. Okay, push it across, guys. Super. And then we're ready to go again with our hands up nice and high. Number two, jab, jab, circle kick. We're going to circle kick the additional one. All right, guys? And our hands up. Number three, jab, jab, circle kick. That's good. And again, here we go, guys. Number four, jab, jab, and then circle. Sit, guys. Well done. So one, two, circle. Remember. Okay. Number six. Jab, jab, circle kick. Sit. Very nice, guys. Here we go. I'm on my toes. I'm still nice and light on my feet. Number seven. Jab, jab, circle kick. Sit, guys. Very nice. Really good. Last one now. Number eight. Jab, 
jab, circle kick. Give it a little circle, rip up, kick. Right, guys, let's try now the knee strikes. Let's do double jab knee. So this time, for the pillow holders, if you want to hold it at the bottom of your pillow for the jab, and then straight down this way for the knee strike. If I just get Master Bob to show you guys what to do, okay? So we'll just do jab, jab, knee strike. And we'll put that knee into the pillow like we did when we went up and down the room. All right, guys, just got a target to hit. So here we go, guys. Hands are up, elbows in, head, forehead forwards, looking through our eyebrows. Ready, guys? Number one, jab, jab, knee strike. So we bring that knee up to strike that pillow. Again, we're ready for number two. Number two, jab, jab, knee strike. Excellent, guys. Well done. So again, when you punch in a pillow, you're probably not going to be able to punch it too hard because it's not really designed for hitting hard. So I just tend to go like 30 or 40 percent power, just work on on technique. Okay, here we go. Number three, jab, jab, knee strike. Bring that knee up straight into that into that belly. Okay, and we're ready again. Number four, jab, jab, knee strike. Okay, excellent. So there's two ways you can knee with your hands. The first way is the basic way, which is to keep your hands up. You see my hands facing you guys, like stock hands, yeah? The second way is to bring your arms across like this, almost like if you're, you're hiding behind a wall. This way, this way. This is a bit stronger. I tend to do that one, or I do that one, mix up between the two. So I would say today, maybe stick with the hands up this way. Here we go. Number four, jab, jab. Knee strike, hands are ready to protect. Excellent. Okay. Number five, jab, jab, knee strike. Then moving in this direction here. Yeah. Six, jab, jab, knee strike. Excellent, guys. Well done. Okay, two more sets. Good. Number seven, jab, jab, knee strike. Hands are up, guys. Good. Last one, eight. Jab, jab, knee strike. Perfect. Now, now we've got the idea. We've done quite a lot of this technique. Let's put the footwork in with the technique. So, pillow holders, would you move forwards like this? Okay. One, two, and turn your pillow sideways. So, this way, one, two, turn your pillow sideways. Right? What we're going to do is we're going to move backwards. Okay? This way, here, so the muscle problem is forward with this pillow up in that position so towards me. Towards a one, two. So I'm jabbing and then turn the pillow sideways, and then we're going to circle kick. Okay, so we're going to go backwards, jab, jab, circle kick. We can do like the circle kick, right? So I've got a move at the same time as my pillow. Yeah, okay, so here we go, guys. Number one. Jab, moving backwards, jab, circle kick. Okay. So, and again for me, guys, hands up. Number two, jab, moving backwards, jab, moving backwards, and circle. Kick it across this way, guys. Okay, it takes a little bit of getting used to this, but we've been doing loads up and down the room. So, let's do a set of eight. So again, if you're with a partner, swap after four. Okay, hands up. Number three, jab, jab, circle. Circle, keep this one. Okay, again, hands are up. Number four, jab, jab, circle, kick. That's it. Nice guy. So, again, if you want to swap with your partner, if you're working with someone today, maybe they can have a go. Or if you've got solo like me, we can carry on with our partner. Last four, guys. Here we go. Moving forwards. Number five. Jab. Jab. Circle kick. Set. Perfect. Last few. Number six. Jab. Jab. Circle kick. Just a moving towards you. You're moving away. You're jabbing it away with your hand. Not a very strong punch. Just to keep them away from you. Okay. Number seven. Jab. Jab. Circle kick. Good. Last one, number eight. 
Big insert, jab, jab, circle. And everyone, relax. Good. Now, what we're going to practice now is stepping forwards and punching. Right? So if I show you guys from here, we're going to do this. Hands up, step forwards and punch. You see my right hand, step and punch. So if I show you from the side, it's stepping forwards. Because usually we just punch on the spot, don't we? Now we're going to step and punch. And we're going to do this punch um, 10 times, punching fresh air, and then we go back to the pillows and we'll practice, yeah? So if you guys can show me your boxing stance, hands up, elbows in. When I say number one, we're going to step forward and we're going to throw that right hand punch. Okay, ready then, Junior? Number one, punch. Now, can you see I'm hiding behind my shoulder here? I tuck my head right down. I brought my shoulder right up and hiding down here. And then we're going to step backwards. Hands are nice and high. Here we go. Stepping forward again. Number two, box. And punch. And then step back. So notice, Julian, I don't lift my arm up. The punch comes from this elbow popping forwards this way. All right? So it's a straight punch, not a high punch. Okay? Here we go. Number three, punch. Yeah, and then step back, guys. Well done. Number four, punch. So step through. Notice my feet. Put your weight on that front leg as you punch, yeah? Okay? And again, number five, punch. Why did I see that other hand is right by my ear, protecting the side of my head? Back to your boxing stance. Good. Number six, punch. Good. Step back, guys. We need to go again. Two more. Number seven. Punch. Good. Last one, genius. Hands up. Number eight. Punch. And then we're actually okay. So you want to grab your pillows, your pillow holder, or your kick pad, and hit that hit kick pad quite hard now. Okay. So pat pillow holders. All you have to do to the side of your body. I like to hold it one corner, one corner, and just hold it this way. Right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to step towards the pillow from here, and I'm just going to go punch, just punch all the way through that pillow. Try and hit it as hard as you can. Right, so push through that pillow. So I'll show you one more time. And you just go boom all the way through. So hit it, stepping punch. Just stepping punch. All right, guys. Here we go. Hands up. Ready and set. Ready, guys. Number one, touch, and then step back into that one. Notice, genius, as I step back, my hands come back to my head to keep me nice and safe. Here we go again. Number two, punch, step back, ready to go. Super good. Number three, punch, all the way through with that right arm. It's a stepping power punch. Okay. Number four, punch. Step back, guys. Super. Excellent. Number five, punch all the way through. Yeah. Number six, punch. Again, try and whip that punch all the way through with that step. Yeah, very, very strong punch. Good. Number seven, punch. Just that, keeping that head up. See, I'm hiding behind my arm. Not punching like this. Shoulder up. Protect that head, yeah. Number eight, punch. Back down, guys. We've got two more to go. Lovely. Nine, punch. Excellent, guys. And the last one, ten, punch. And then reset the start. Perfect, guys. Okay, pillows down. Okay, let's do, let's do a fresh air technique and go back to our pillows again. We want to add another move to our punch. We're going to do an elbow squat. Okay, so my hands are up. I'm going to step and punch, and then twist an elbow like this. So I'll show you guys again. Step forward and punch, and then on the spot, twist an elbow. See that left elbow comes winging around this way. So it's forward punch, turn an elbow. That is our technique. All right, guys, so ready? Ready, Junior? hands up. Boxing starts ready. Number one, punch, elbow strike. Lovely, see my hands up by my head here. 
and then reset your boxing stance. Nice guys. Number two, punch, elbow strike. Nice guys, and then reset your boxing stance. Yeah. Number three, punch, elbow. Twist, bring that elbow right the way around. Reset your boxing stance. Okay. Number four, punch, elbow strike. See the elbow faces forward. Sit right, reset your boxing stance. Excellent, guys. Number five, punch, elbow, and then reset. Yeah. Number six, punch, elbow strike. Nice, guys. Step back into our boxing stance. Number seven, punch, elbow strike. Nice, guys. Stepping back into our boxing stance. Number eight, punch, elbow strike. We set our stance. Again, hiding behind my cheeks here. Number nine, punch, elbow strike. Reset our boxing stance for the last one. 10, punch, elbow strike. And then reset. Now, let's go back to the bag. Let's go back to the pillows and all the pads. So, pillow holders, all you have to do for this one is just hold it either end. Punch and turn the pillow sideways for the elbow. So this way, and then turn it sideways for the elbow. Okay. So if I just show you a master bob pad first, I'm just going to take it to you. I'll step forward. One, the pillow turns. Two, and we're going to chip away and chip that elbow. Let's go this way. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. So the guys can see over here. We're going to punch and then twist an elbow. Hit that elbow on the pillow. All right, guys. Now, obviously, the pillow isn't that strong, so just use it like a target to touch. If you have to. All right, guys. So, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to do a set of eight. So, again, if you're training with a partner, swap after four. Okay, so here we go, Judith. Hands are up, snapping in. So, number one, punch, elbow strike, and then reset your stance. One and two, yeah. Here we go, guys. Number two, punch, elbow strike. Three, set, good stance. Super good. Number three, punch, elbow strike. Three, set. Two, good. Number three, punch, elbow strike. Three, set the stance. Here we go. Number four, punch. Elbow strike, swap if you need to now with partners. If you are training with someone, if you like me, have a look at the number four. So up. Number five, punch. Elbow strike. Reset the stance. Good. Number six, punch. Elbow strike. Good, guys. Lovely. Number seven, punch. Elbow. And the last one, guys. Eight. Punch, elbow strike, and then relax. Okay, so we're going to do um, some rebound kicks. So, um, everyone, I think, knows how to do a roundhouse kick. Right? So, what we're going to do with the roundhouse kick is pillow, pillow holders. If you hold your pillow sideways like this, right? sideways like this, and what we're going to do is we're going to kick it. Right, like this. One, two, three, four, five, all the way to ten, doing that roundhouse kick, practice in class. All right, so you can use your shin, or you can use the top of your foot. Right? So remember when you roundhouse kick, see my shoulder comes forwards from, from this way. Roundhouse kick. So we're going to set up ten on our right leg, on our pads, or if you have your kick bag ready, kick your kick bag with your shin. Okay, so here we go, guys. Then turn around that shoulder. Let's go. Ten kick. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect, guys. So if you're training with a partner, they can take the pillow now. We're going to swap our legs over with ten on the other leg. So we want to be able to kick with both legs, guys. Again, we're just holding that pillow in line with your partner's tummy. This one. 
hands are up. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect, guys. Well done. Just shake the legs out. Now, I want to do double kicks with you guys. Today. So, we're going to do it fresh air first, and then we'll get back on those pillows. But I want you guys to see how I do it first. Yep. So, from here, we're going to go kick, kick. See how I don't put my foot on the floor? Right? So, the first kick comes round one, two, and then we put our foot all the way back behind us. This is called a double roundhouse kick. Okay? So, we're going to have a go at just using our right leg today. Just for the doubles, and then we'll do that as we go. So, if you step back, guys, take your boxing stance. Remember, to, this foot turns out before you kick, the shoulder comes forwards, and then you bring your leg through. So, the stage is foot, shoulder, then you do your double kick and kick your foot back behind you. Does that make sense to you, guys? Yeah? So, foot, shoulder, double kick. So, here we go, guys. Number one, kick, kick, foot back down. Double roundhouse kicks. Very nice guys. Number two, kick, kick, foot back down again. Double roundhouse kicks. Okay. Number three, kick, kick, foot comes back down. Okay. In Thai, the round kick is for the day. Okay. D H A E. Okay. Number four, double. Roundhouse kick, foot comes back down, guys. Ready? Number five, double kick, one, two, foot comes back down. Yeah, we do step eight. Number six, kick, kick, foot comes back down. Very nice, guys. Number seven, kick, kick, foot, you have a turn, foot, shoulder, then those kicks come round. Last one, guys. Here we go. Number eight. Kick, kick. Foot comes down. Now, little tip for you guys on the doubles. The higher you keep your knee, the easier that second kick is. Because when people do double kicks, they tend to go kick and they drop their knee. And it's really hard to kick again. So if you watch my knee, guys, I keep my knee at the same height for both kicks. And that makes it easier to do that second kick quickly. So now we're going to go back to the bag or the pillows, all right, and have a go. So pillow holders again, think about one at the top, one at the bottom, holding in line with your partner's tummy, so they're kicking directly at the set line here. Or either if you're on the bag, you can double kick that bag because um, it's, it's not going to move anywhere. Okay, so boxing starts ready. Double roundhouse kicks. We're going to do a set of eight. So Again, for Stitty and Ridley, if you swap after four each, then you get to go and have that bonus. Here we go, guys. Number one, one, two, double kick, foot comes back down. Okay. Keeping that knee super high. Okay. Number two, kick, kick, foot back down. Excellent, guys. Yeah. Number three, kick, kick, come back. Very good, guys. Now your hands. Stay up as you kick. See, my hand stays, this one stays up, protecting my head. Okay, here we go. Number four, kick, kick. Foot comes back down. Again, if you need to swap with your partner now, feel free to give that pillow over. Then we'll take our boxing stance again. Number five, double kick. Boom, boom. Back again, flicking it in, flicking it around. Top that foot. Number six, kick, kick. Look, comes back down. That's it. Two more to go. Right. Number seven. Double kick. Off the floor. Lovely, guys. Last one. Eight. Double kick. Look, back down, guys. Excellent. And relax the room. Okay. Let's try rebound kicks. Let's kick fresh air first. We'll go back on the pillow. Let me show you what a rebound kick is. This time you can put your foot down. Kick. Bounce, kick. So you see how I go up, bounce, up again. So we use the floor like a trampoline. Boom, boom. Okay, ready guys, hands up. Let's go. Number one, kick, bounce, kick. Put back down for that double round hands, yeah? Now how high can you kick? See how high you guys can go, yeah? 
Number two, kick, bounce, kick. Your foot comes back up, ready to kick again. Lovely. Number three, kick, kick. Foot comes back up again, guys. Now remember, foot, shoulder, then you throw your kicks, yeah? Number four, kick, kick. Foot comes back down, guys. Boxing start is up. We're going to do a set of six. Number five, kick, bounce, kick. Foot comes back up. Good, last one, six. Kick, bounce, kick. Foot comes in. So you guys, let's get your pillows out again, put your pads, or your kick bags. And now we'll do the same thing. Again, pillow holders, think about center of the body. Let me, go, let me show you guys first. So we're just gonna go kick, bounce, kick. Just kick it two times. And we're gonna do a set of six this time. So again, if you're working with a training partner, swap after three times. All right, guys, here we go, hands up. Let's go, number one, kick. Kick, bounce up that floor, guys. Bop, bop, this one. Good. Number two, kick, kick. It comes back down. We need to kick again. Lovely. Number three, foot turn, shoulder turn. Three, kick, kick. It comes back down, guys. Well done. You'll swap over if you need to now. We've got number three left. Number four, kick, kick. It comes down. Excellent, guys. Number five, kick, kick. Back. Good. Last one, juniors. Six, kick, kick. Now, can I show you guys something? If you come quite close to your screens, I want to show you something from Master Bob so you can see. Yeah? Why double kicks are so good. Right? So, Master Bob, if you come forward, sir, you take the sparring spots. Like, can everyone see any sparring spots? So if I go to kick him in the belly here, and he brings his arm down this way, okay, then I bring my knee back and I go boom, kick to the head. Right? So sometimes if they bring their hand down to pop, this is open. You can throw that kick to the head. Okay, thank you, guys. All right, guys. So we're going to do a little bit of um, conditioning to finish our classes. We're going to work on squatting. Squatting is great for making your legs super strong. So we're going to do a set of 10 squats. We're going to go down, back up, and we're going to bring our arms down like this. Boom! Up and then boom! Straight out like this. All right? So here we go, guys. Number one, squat. Up. Arms out. Good. Elbows in. Number two, squat. Out. Elbow back in. Good. Number three, squat. Out. Perfect, guys. Elbows in again. Number four, squat out. Lovely, guys. Elbows back up again. Number five, down, up. Super, guys. Six, down, up. Boom, move again. Move up again. Number seven, down, up. That's the arms coming in. Number eight, down, up. Good. Elbows in. Nine, down, up, up again. And the last one is 10, down, up. Perfect. Now, you might need to hold on to a wall or a cabinet or a chair or something for this next stretch. Or if I'm gonna try to not hold on to anything, I'm just gonna bring my knee up sideways like this. Okay? We're gonna go up and down with my leg 10 times. See if you can bring your knee up, up and down without falling if you need to, you can hold onto the wall. You can do it with your hand against the wall. Totally up to you guys. We're going to do a little bit of shift. So, ready, guys? Turn our shoulders sideways. Bring that knee up. Elbows in. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right on, guys. Let's swap sides. Let's go this way. Bring this hip down. Knee up. Balance in. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one's a little bit harder now. We're going to do this one. Knee up. One, two, three, all the way to ten. So you might need to hold on to something. One, two. If not, try it like me. You're just bouncing. It's a slow kick. So 
intercept 10. Now, if you wobble a little bit and lose your balance, stop, reset it again, carry on. Ready, guys? Here we go. It's going to be up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Well done, guys. This is going to make your round kick very, very strong as well. Again, okay, we're going sideways. We're going to bring our knee up. See, so one hand up, one hand down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, ten. Well done, guys. Let's keep the shape. Okay. Now we go. Let's have a little stretch down now, Jimmy's, yeah? Let's bring your right hand across your chest. Bring your arm up, give it a little hug. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change the arms across. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last stretch, guys. We're gonna bring our hands behind our back and we're gonna push them up in the air. As high as you can. And some of you might be more flexible in your shoulders. And we look up to the ceiling. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right on, say, juniors. Really good class on the bow. So attention. So, what do you Well, the guys, give yourself a round of applause. Everyone, well done. Good class. Okay, excellent.